Mary Labby and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cargo Bikes Africa. Uh, we at Cargo Bikes are electrifying mobility um, by introducing durable e-bikes into Ghana um, for both delivery and commuter purposes. Um, I guess one of the reasons why we started Cargo Bikes was looking at how we could save the environment by crowding in more um, electric vehicles, um, helping um, Ghana move away from the dependency we have on petrol. We realised that actually mobility as it stands is untenable, um, it's not sustainable and that there are a lot of young people um, in the country who are ready to embrace a new way to travel. Um, so we have designed an electric bike that suits the context of our roads um, and we're using these bikes for delivery um, and also are looking to partner with businesses who want to support their employees to get to work in a, a more affordable and more sustainable way. Um, with respect to the environment, we don't have emissions coming from the electric bike. So it's just easy go and it's safer for the environment. One of our biggest challenges is obviously we're a startup. Um, we have innovated a, a great product, but we need to scale. Um, so the first thing was really just to find partners, people who actually use the bikes. And we're, we've been lucky enough to find a number of delivery companies who are embracing the bikes and we're managing to scale up. Um, using e-bikes and delivery. We've designed the bike, a uh, proprietary bike for the Ghanaian road um, and then we've now established partnerships with Chinese partners um, but we import all the parts and we do local assembly. The next stage for us is to actually do as much of the manufacturing domestically as possible. At the moment we have a subscription model so riders can access our bike for 150 cities a week um, that they pay um, each week um, to support do their deliveries. So we can we or this is like a combination of all the things we've learned so far from when, uh, when we started till now. So you can see the, the shocks, they are very similar to what we have on the mountain bike in there. The central motor is also similar to what in the, we have on the mountain bike in there. The difference now you see is some of the tyres. So you can see that the tyres are wider now, they provide you better grip, um, it provides more comfort because you have a lot lighter, uh, larger sidewall as well. And it also means that like um, you can also carry a bit more because of the wider um, pattern on it, like the wider, um, how do you say, tread surface you have. So this is, and this in particular is uh, like a motorcycle tire. So we've already done a first iteration. So from from this, we are able to arrest some of the typical issues we have when you are riding the, the bicycle. So it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So that's what we have at the moment. So the motor here just says general pedal motors like when you pedal it gives you like a bit of an assistance and then you're able to extend your rate and go further. We also have the throttle so you can be able to use the bike in like more challenging riding conditions like uh, if you're going up a hill or, or you're in, the, you're in mud or something like this. Just use the motor and then you're gone. So that's that's more or less it. We get we have lights, uh, better lights now so yeah you can see it's like it gives you a broader beam so it makes it easier for you to see on the road as well. We have tunable shocks, so it means that you can ride more comfortably on bumpy terrain or you can have a, like a stiffer, more responsive feel if you're on the main road. So these are kind of like the design, uh, some of the design cues we picked up from all the work that we've done so far. You have a phone holder, so you can hold your phone on it, it makes your life simple. And they also have the ability to charge the phone from like the display at the bottom here. So you get like, it's quite pretty good, it's quite nifty for people who are in the courier business because you don't need to carry your power bank around anymore, you can just charge from the, from, the, uh, from the bike. So that's more or less it in terms of like uh, a lot of the features that we have on there. And most of it is just similar to a regular bicycle, so it can be repaired anywhere by anyone with no knowledge of the electrical system. It's one of the advantages we have over some of the competing products out there, so that's more or less it.
this um, misconception that the career space is just for men and that it's a, it's a sort of, um, for lack of a better word, a rough job or a dirty job sort of because you're always on the move and it's seen as Okada work but then um, the use of these bikes will enable anyone, anybody to actually sign on, especially women. We are looking at actually um, empowering women to um, join, to join through the use of these bikes. For the motors, the motorcycles, you need skill. You need a lot of skill. You need training. You need you need to know how to actually ride. But with the bicycles, you don't see. You just need to have some basic knowledge of how to ride a bicycle and you don't need to paddle as we showed earlier you don't really need to paddle you just need to know have some basic knowledge okay i can ride the bike you sit on the bike you balance yourself well and you're good to go it's not really it's not a um, rocket science in a certain sense anyone can sign on all our bikes come with what we call swappable batteries. We wanted to make charging easy, so you can actually just take off your battery and replace it with a battery that's charged. So for now, in the beginning, each bike comes with two batteries, so you can always have one on charge, ready to swap, so that makes it easy. Um, the second thing where we're moving our business to is we are setting up solar charging hubs across the major cities, so you would actually be able to navigate your e-bike to one of our charging hubs and actually just pick a ready charged battery. Physical structure. So for people who want to have virtual businesses, we have created a platform for you. Um, in as, as part of uh, give, creating the bridging the gap and creating convenience and a marketplace for vendors, we we also have a logistic bit of our business where we provide last mile for businesses. So um, you don't have to move to get uh, your item and the vendor doesn't have to worry about delivery we will cater for all that so we, it's an end-to-end -end approach now in doing so um, we, we've been using the usual uh, by uh, motorbike to do that and we thought that how can we keep serving our agent uh, our customers or our vendors and um, also be environmentally friendly and also provide economical uh, service to them and in in in, in that consideration we came up with a uh, electric uh, motorbike. Some of the challenges have been um, regulatory environment, uh, the import um, taxes on EVs is still prohibitive. Uh, uh, the cost of the bike increases around 15% um, based on the, the import um, fiscal policy. I think secondly, um, the current situation with our exchange rate is not also helping um, as there is obviously um, as the city depreciates the vehicle becomes more expensive um, which is why if we can produce as much in country as possible we would also be mitigating this risk um, and I think finally a lot of people just don't know about e-mobility so the, the public education on alternative means of transport that people don't have to be dependent on petrol for motorbikes or petrol for cars. Um, we need to get the word out and, and that's something we're really excited about, that we have a solution um, to reduce people's dependency on petrol. Finally, what does, why is sustainability important and what does it mean to me? Um, so I have three children under the age of six or seven, <laughs> just turned seven. Um, and so their future, the world that we leave, the legacy that we leave to the next generation, for me is something that we have to think about every day. Um, we've seen since we were little what has been happening in terms of climate change, that places that used to be cold are now hot, that places that used to be hot are now cold. Um, and that's all because of the fact that we're not taking care of the planet, that we're not innovating with environmental um, sustainability it as central to everything that we do. So I'm really excited about the potential of, of cargo bikes and e-mobility in general because it's an example of a business that's putting the environment first, that's also creating meaningful jobs and that would leave a legacy of a better environment for our children and next generations.